Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of my Road to Champions League series. In today's video, we're going to be using this new meta Mortar Hog Bait Deck. However, there is a little modification to it. It's Snowball for Log and Rascals for the Dark Goblin. I feel like this deck is way more solid considering you know, the Snowball and it's, and it's, you know, and it's, how got its explosive popularity and, you know, how, and, and it's, you know, dominating the, uh, the small spell meta is dominating it. It's always on top. The Rascals, I feel like it's way more solid than any Dark Goblin. Although you know this deck is just you know slightly more expensive. So we, so if you will, uh, so if you are you know one of the my uh, OG viewers, you will know that the Mortal Hog is, is it was uh, is one of my favorite decks. However, you know I said you know Dark Goblin for Rascals and Log for the Snowball. This deck is uh, way more expensive. So you will so you will have to learn how to you know conserve your elixir a bit better. You should never, you know, drop anything that you don't need to drop, like like how like, like going for bats. You know, then that that extra two elixir can, you know, prevent you from getting back to your prince or ras or rascals, you know, in time, and you can, you know, just end up losing in the battle just because of two elixir. Well, anyways, into the first one, into the first one of the video. I'm at forty six twenty seven. I really didn't have much time to try to push, you know, over the past week. I was really busy. I had a uh, I had a refereeing course, a soccer refereeing course over the weekend. Then I had the exam for it and everything, so I really did not have you know that much time to play anything, play any games at all, or even you know go on YouTube much. Okay, I'm gonna go for the rascals over here. It's still connected onto this, still connected onto the mortar, but that's okay. I'm gonna get, to, I'm not gonna get a shot, but that's uh, alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the snowball. That's gonna make, that's gonna make sure you know the uh, musket only gets one shot on my, on my tower. And we got the Rascal Boy doing doing you know, a bit of damage on the right one, so that's pretty good. That's that's really nice. All right, let's just go for the Hog since you know he doesn't have his Tesla and Cycle. I was unforced to go Goblin Gang to prevent you know make sure the Hog only gets one shot. And maybe we'll go Tesla right now. No Tesla. All right, so that's gonna be a that's gonna be a, you know, quite a few hits in the Hog. And oh, the Goblin Gang is gonna get a lot of damage on the right on the left tower because he is only a level twelve. The tower takes three shots to kill level thirteen goblins. Well, you know, just if, if you want to know the standard method, if if your uh, if your opponent's tower is one level lower than your goblins, it will take three shots to kill them. All right, so basically, right now I'm just gonna keep fireball cycling. I should I should be able you know, to be I should be able to win this if I don't choke it somehow. I'm gonna go for the prince in the back. All right, I'm gonna go for the hog, even though this this is a slight overcommitment. I still feel like he won't have much, you know, match to counter that. I'm gonna fireball. Oh, that was really not, you know. Okay, that was actually that was actually good. That was actually good. Cross that. That was good. He's gonna go for hog right now. I'm just gonna snowball. All right, we were able to mitigate almost all the damage. I'm gonna go for the goblin gang. He only has a zap, so you know the Goblin Gang will still, be, will still be will still be able to survive. This is this is like this is a key this is a key this is a key critical thinking in a battle. What what kind of small spell that, that does my opponent have? Snowball, log, zap, bar barrel. What does he have? If he has the bar barrel, that means you won't go you won't, you won't go rascals up top because he will uh, he will he will be able to bar barrel them. If he has helicopter, if he has uh, if he has snowball, then you will uh, make sure you know not to drop the bats and you know to counter a hog or something. I'm just gonna fireball over here. He goes for the poison as well. I will consider that you know a slight, a slight over commitment, a slight over commitment on his part. Uh, I'm gonna go for the hog over here. I'm gonna go for the bats. I know, I know. I mean, he basically has no, almost nothing to counter any, to counter this. I'm just gonna go for the fireball. You know what? That's good game anyway. That's good game. I'm gonna go for the rascals. I'm gonna go for the goblin. And hopefully, he'll just let me get the three crown. Maybe he'll let me get the three crown. No, he actually will not let me get the three crown because. He is just a horrible human being. I mean, come on, just give me like extra five seconds, and I would have gotten a three count. But it's okay, it's okay. I mean, we still we still managed to beat Philly T two from Vodka Junior two. Wow. All right, so into the second level of the video, forty six fifty six. Hopefully, maybe we can get you know, get a finish, you know, around you know forty seven twenty range, give or take. Go here we have Gonza from hashtag the Kings, the Kings. All right. Let's see how much uh, king worthy you are, Gonza. Good luck. I'm gonna snowball that. So he has he has hog he has hog Xenado. Maybe not. The dark prince can, it's kind of throwing me off a bit. Seeing the goblins and the mega minion, 
kind of led me to think he might have what I call it called Hogaxinado. He still might have. Or he might, you know, have beatdown. This could be beatdown. This could be Golem. Yeah, this is Golem. Definitely Golem. Alright, so basically whenever he goes Golem, it's going to go Prince off his lane. Because then he used a couple of his ground troops. And I'm not sure if he'll have a, if, if he'll have a last one. So I do feel pretty confident, you know, just going for the Prince and me at the bridge whenever he goes Golem. He will have to react to that. Alright. So I'm going to wait for that to get a one shot. Then I'm going to snowball. Oh, that was a pretty... That was not a very good snowball on my part. I'm going to go for the Rascals. I don't really know why he's going for Dark Mist at the bridge. I mean, that's really not going to do anything. He, he he wasted way too much looks over there. So the Mortar is going to get a connection. I'm going to go for the Bats. Two for that, that, that Lumberjack. Let's see how the Mortar can get, you know, can get two shots. Alright, so that's good. That's good. That tower is going to be brought down to 1500 HP, 1456. Okay, 1386. At least I got you know two 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 digits correct. Alright, I'm just gonna snowball that. I probably should have waited. I probably should have waited, yeah. Now I guess I'm making the key the, the best uh, the uh, the most optimal placement to do it is you know in the in the tower right right here if i can once again enough elixir for it all right you tower right here to pull you know because to pull only one now uh, you, you pull only how to call it the mega minion because all the extra you know goblins will go towards how to call it will go towards the other lane and only one spirit goblin will remain behind but that'll be enough to take care of the mega minion so yeah that's good uh, i'm gonna go for the mortar defensive over here i'm gonna go for rascals because you know he arrowed that i'm gonna go for the goblin gang I'm gonna go for the bats. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have this battle in the bag. I'm pretty sure I have this battle in the bag. All right, I'm gonna go for the prince. I'm gonna keep those little spirit goblins alive. All right, I'm gonna go for the hog. I have to go back to my rascals. I have to go back to my rascals. Rascals, go down. Yeah, that's a good game. Good game. He he tried. He overcommitted on trying on offense, trying to get you know, trying to get Talikot my uh my right tower. So yeah, there you go. Good game. All right, so there you go. Second battle was a win against uh, Golem Beatdown. Although he did not play it, he did not play it very well. If I was if I was you know if I was him, I probably would pro I probably would be able to you know to at least get out, get out get out with a draw, at least a draw. Anyways, into the into the third battle of the video. I hope we can just you know keep the keep the she going. We got we got somebody from Arush seventy. Arush seventy. Good luck. We will be getting our thirty three choice if you win against him. If we lose, we will lose twenty seven. He was Valkyrie to start up on the left and the behind the King Tower in the left lane. The morning gets the connection. I don't really know why he's giving me the connection. Okay, I'm just gonna snowball that as well because you know. I Alright, so I had to fire a ball. That's gonna deal a bit of damage though. Oh my god. It's still a filthy piece of shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna defend it because that's. That's, that, that's just gonna be a, a, a way. A, I'm, I'm gonna be like we on the on elixir on defense. Wow, alright, so Lumberjack, Minion Horde, then the Hog. Wow, alright. Certainly did not see that coming. I'm gonna go for the Prince and the uh, Hog because he's obviously really low on Elixir, so I want to capitalize on that. Get a little bit of damage. I'm gonna go for the Goblin right now. Alright. He still managed to defend that, but you know, he still, you know, used a lot of Elixir. So I guess I'm okay. He used 10 Elixir. I used, wow, way more than that. I used 12. But I guess I am alright. Wow, he actually goes for, he actually goes for Balloon. Wow, he really has. A severe off meta deck. So if he goes for skeleton army, I'm just gonna snowball. If he goes a minion horde, I'm gonna fireball. Either way, I'm just gonna fire. Oh, okay. I I should have went for I should have went for the guy for the uh, for the snowball, but you know I did I, I wanted to know how to call it that. Uh, I'm to get they, they got more damage, so I guess that was okay. I'm just gonna snowball that. Probably probably should have snowballed you know, a bit like more more like over here, just to, uh, just to push it a bit closer to the tower. Uh, I'm gonna go for the hog over there. He has my king tower really low HP, so I either have to defend my king. We will we will be able to get to take a one tower down, so I guess I guess that's the good news. Alright. 
So he actually goes for the minion horde over there. I'm fine. I'm gonna go for the bass suit, you know, to counter that quite nicely over there. I'm gonna go for the prince. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for the snowball. Then I'm gonna go for the mortar over here. I'm gonna go for the bats. Oh no. Oh no. The Valkyrie's on the tower. Good game. Piece of shit. Absolute piece of shit. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Lumberjack Hog Balloon. Alright, I'm done. Into the last part of the video. Let's just, you know, let's just, you know, get. Let's, let's just get, you know, the. Let's, let's just win this. Alright, I, I don't really care. Alright, good luck. We got Slayer. I don't, I don't, I really don't know what that last battle was. I really do not know what that deck was. I probably should have been able, have been able to defend that a bit, you know, maybe a bit more better than that. I'm gonna snowball. He goes for the hog as well. I am fine with that. The prince will, will be able to take care of everything over there. So he has 2.6 hog cycle. Well, 2.9 hog cycle. Gobbing and goes low. Man, that musketeer is actually doing quite a lot of deck, quite some bits for him. I'm gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna go for hog bats opposite lane. He used a lot of elixir, so I feel pretty confident. Whenever you, whenever you wanna go for hog bats, don't just you know don't just you know how to call it, double tap on it. Just wait, wait time to call like an extra like, one second, actually like just ha even half a second. Because if you do that, one bat will get killed by the tower before 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 it targets onto the hog. Mortar goes down. That was you know a bit you know horrible. Okay, that was actually that was actually, that was actually okay. That was actually okay. That was, that was a uh, okay more replacement. As I said, if, if you want to double tap, let's say, how they call it, hog bats, drop, drop the hog, wait an extra second, then go for the bats. Because the, because the tower won't be able to, you know, to kill like, that one extra bat. You know, and it, will, it will just you know, give you know, more uh, more value. I'm going to go for the hog. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have how they call it. He doesn't have cannon and cycle. I'm not sure. Yeah, he now he's back to his cannon. I'm going to fireball over here. There's the fireball. All right, there you go. So one hog shot, two hog shot, three hog shot. I'm gonna go for the rascals because you know here he locked, he locked that goblin gang, so I'm fine. Oh man, he really is getting pretty kind of pretty kind of over here. Okay, all right. So let me just fireball cycle this tower from now on, basically. I'm just gonna go for the mortal offense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go defensive over here, then snowball. He freezes. I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. The other tower is targeting. That was an absolutely atrocious freeze over there. Absolutely atrocious. I'm gonna fireball over here too. He needs to be a bit more, you know, uh, you know, unpredictable with his cannon placement. He needs to be a bit more unpredictable. I'm gonna go for the prince. I'm gonna go for the goblin gang to pull that. He freezes that. I'm gonna go for the snowball. Oh, actually, wow! Oh, right, that was kind of, that was kind of onto the tower. All right, I did not notice that. I'm gonna fireball. All right, so that's that's a mortar connection guarantee. I'm gonna go for the rascals. That's gonna get one last smile. That's gonna get one last mortar shot. That's gonna be good game. All right, so let's just you know get back to our fireball. You know, let's get back to our our fireball. I'm just gonna go for the hog over here. I'm gonna snowball this. I want to fireball the tower. That's gonna be a good game, my friend. Good game. All right, so there you go, Slayer. That uh, that was a relatively you know easy battle. He um, he really did not play this too well. He should have been a, he should have been a bit more unpredictable with his uh, with his um his, his, his cannon placement. I right, well, anyways, that should that should do for this video, guys. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.